Hello friends and welcome to my thank you card craft. Today we're going to have all kinds of fun and I'm going to uh, just give you a sneak peek of what we're going to be learning today. One of the cool things you'll learn in this video is how to make really snazzy flowers using your water pen. So we're going to learn how to make these beautiful clipping masks that allow us to get really nice colors in our flowers. We're also going to be learning how to create beautiful lettering using some of the tools we've learned in many of our other videos namely the gold foil technique that I've showed you guys. <clears throat> so please make sure to stay to the end because we're going to make a really awesome card today and I think you're going to be so super happy with it. Alright, to get started, let's go ahead and grab our fresh, nice new canvas. And we're going to need a few layers. A dog. I actually have two dogs. <coughs> they like to bark sometimes. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so the first things first. So, layer two, we're just going to rename Rainbow. Layer four, no, sorry, layer five is going to be renamed Gold Foil. Layer one, we can rename that flowers, flower design, which whichever you prefer. Layer three, we're gonna rename that pink accents. Layer four, let's rename that text. So that way we can kind of have a sense of where everything should go. I'm going to try to kind of make things organized for you guys because, because it's very easy to be all over the place when you're working in an app like this. So let's go ahead. Oh no, my dog has a cough. All right. I want to go ahead and start with the rainbow first. So select that layer and we want to make a nice um, landscape. I'm going to go ahead and select this tool here, which is a your little, can you see it? Let me see if I can help you guys to see that. So that's a little, kind of like an S symbol. Select rectangle. This is the one that gives you all your different, um, you know, uh, drawing tools basically. Well, you know, some kind, the kind where you can fill in all at once. Like for example, your rectangle, your ellipse, you can have a freehand we're going to go ahead with rectangle for this and I'm not overly particular about how this should look because it just needs to be multicolored and beautiful. So we'll just pick some bright pretty colors and go ahead with the purple. These are going to be our back splash. Let's go ahead. Oops. I always do that. Gosh. Uh, I don't know if I want that color. Let's go with that one. All right now, let's blur that all out. And we've just made our rainbow layer. Okay. Let me move you guys over here so you can see everything hopefully a little bit better. All right. I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer because I don't want to do anything else with that just yet. 
let's also deselect it so we can work on our next layer, which is our gold foil. So let's go ahead back to our little S tool. This is the easy one. We we'll probably want to be in the gold for this. And we're just going to create two rectangles of black. Go kind of halfway up. Two more rectangles of kind of like a green gold. And finally, oops. Two more kind of golden rectangles and then blur, blur that out pretty nicely. Maybe to like 79% even. See how that's kind of looking like a sheet of gold foil? So now go ahead and just lock that layer as well because we don't want to accidentally draw on those layers yet. Now let's go down to the flower design. Let's unselect the gold foil layer. Let's reselect this one. We can unlock this now and then go to clipping mask and select flower design. Now this is going to be pretty fun because we're going to grab our water pen and we're just going to start to make our flower designs. So I'm going to go ahead and grow my canvas up a little bit so I can make some nice designs for you guys. You can really see what I'm doing. All right, so let's see how we feel about that one. Yeah, pretty, not bad. Looking kind of cool too. As you can see we're really able to pull from the colors in that bottom layer we made. anything you don't like, grab your eraser tool. Well, oh. <coughs> let's see, we don't want that one. <coughs> My dog has a cough. I hope he doesn't have COVID. Oh, that would be bad. Okay. Actually, gonna go over this with. I don't know about that blue, and I'm even gonna go over the green with pink. I'm gonna blur that out. You can go back in and change things up. Okay, go back to clipping mask. I kind of like that a little bit better. Keep playing with your designs. Oops. Make sure you're in the right design. And then just sort of play around with the design until I'm happy with it. Oh, how cute is that one? Yeah, that's way better. Just kind of want to play around until you feel like you've got design that really speaks to you, you know? The buds. I love buds. They're fun. Alright, I think I'm pretty happy with this. 
And I'm just kind of go in and just add some like little accents, I guess. Sure, okay. So now let's go ahead and we need to select the pink accents tab now because we're going to go ahead and we're going to go create our rectangles. And if you decide to do it like I am, you're going to make your rectangle long. And then we're going to make our border on the edge. I just, oops, I intend just to eyeball the border. So it doesn't need to be exact, but I want it to be pretty even on all sides. Just eyeball it, it's fine. Now the reason we do need to make, hmm, I'm gonna have to do something here, rid of that side, because we need to make sure we're centered. That's always a good thing to do. Okay, so everything's centered and we're good. And so go in here now and just adjust the opacity to, oops, I mean, maybe like 48%. That looks pretty good. So now we have a very pretty card here. Okay, so going back to our next stage, we need to unlock this layer, unlock it, make it into a clipping mask, and then select the layer below it. Our text layer. Now go to streaks, which is under calligraphy, and just make your words make sure that's selected i'm like what's going on okay make sure your gold is selected too you need that so now i'm gonna write my thanks and it's a small box i don't really have room to write thank you outright so i'm just gonna do thanks and i go off the edge of that on that side and then on this side just kind of go like that and you can be a little bit methodical with it so that way everything falls nicely on your page and there you have it guys a really sweet adorable card that you can print out for basically free the cost of colored print ink, which I know isn't free, but even still, it's going to save you a lot of money to make your own uh, stationery and your own cards. I can't tell you how much money I've saved over the years just making my own cards. It's crazy. Cards are like $10 for a pack of 10. <laughs> so you can make so many cards. You can save this for special events, for you know, for special occasions, um, you know, just so you have them on hand when you need them. You can send them as an e-card if you need to. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I had a lot of fun making it with you, and have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow with our next project or painting. Bye!